and we are back welcome back to the channel my name is lagging this is grounded hey guys they had a new update it's called the bug strike back and boy do they ever apparently now you can annoy the bugs so much by spending time in their territory or attacking a certain faction of bugs let's say i go over to the red ant hill and go in there and just wreck shop steal all their eggs and then hang out there for a while eventually i'm gonna get a warning on my screen that the red ants are getting angry with me and then eventually the warning's gonna turn into like a warning they're coming to your base to attack your base so i had to get rid of my awesome mushroom garden that i had out here and replace it with a bunch of spikes and then look at this we got a new thing in the game it's called a pebble turret there's also a different type of turret i think it shoots pollen uh but the pebble turret seems like it's going to be uh probably the, our best bet for defending the base should we make the bugs so mad that they come over here uh but here let's check it out i had to get some pebbles in my inventory so this thing will work but yeah you actually get inside of it it's got a 360 degree rotation um i was gonna put it up on something but you can't look down very well so you, I, i'm pretty sure you just got to put it flat on the ground but if anything comes at us anything at all oh my goodness okay well the poor little guy just walked into one of my spike traps so you can see that works pretty well but yeah we can just shoot away at him it's pretty good it's not the fastest fire rate in the world and you lose your rocks unfortunately you can't just go back out here and pick them up but if we get if we get a siege going i should be pretty prepared to deal with it i hope something else new we've got a glue factory station we could go in here and make repair glue and as you can see it's the same type of repair glue it's repair glue too all across the board here but you can make it with black ox parts termite parts you can make it with antlion parts you can make it with bombardier parts spider chunks roly-poly stink bugs or ladybug parts so basically whatever you have the most of is what you're going to make your repair glue with and repair glue i think is used for repairing your armor and weapons that are over over like level five upgrade but lagging you can't upgrade your armor you can now all right check this out so you can take your armor and upgrade it just like you could your weapons. Right now I've got my roly poly armor up to a level five. And if I wanna go to level six with it, we have a path choice. We've got bulky, which will take it from 25% defense and durability, and it'll increase it by 10%, 35 and 35. If we go sleek, it'll only increase those stats by five. However, it'll add something called blocking strength. And I think each armor set will have a unique ability added to it if you choose the sleek path again if you choose the bulky path you're going to get better percentage on your defense and durability so it's up to you how you want to do it so to get it to a level six bulky which i think is what i'm going to do we need something called berry leather plates so if we go over to our workbench it says for the berry leather plates you need berry leather scraps which is new and grub leather plates and bug rubber so it's all kind of new stuff in here, but I know how to make it. We're going to need some berry leather first and foremost, which I've got hanging out up here. And then if we take the berry leather over to our grinder, we now have berry leather scraps in here, which require one berry leather to make the scraps. I've already made some, but crank some more out here. And I can take these out that I've already made. I also said we needed something called grub leather plates, which also require something called grub leather scraps. So I you take the grub hide, you throw it in your grinder it's going to make the grub scrap so we'll get some of those cooking as well so i can take those grub scraps that i just made in the grinder which i have 56 of and add some sap and some crude rope to it and i should get the grub plate that i need and now i can make the berry leather plate because i have plenty of berry leather scraps i've got some bug rubber and i've got the grub leather plates now so i'm going to craft some of these up and so i should be able to go to a level six bulky on my roly poly chest plate which will be 35 35 at the cost of five berry leather plates doing it did it it's done so yeah i'm at 35 35 and i can't make a choice again we are stuck on the bulky path so it'll be 45 45 then 55 55 65 65 is probably where it'll top off at um so that's pretty good what sucks is you have to do each piece of armor individually so whereas i have this level six bulky chest plate my helmet's only a level two and my legs are only a level two so i've got to do that for everything which is going to take a while to get fully upgraded armor and i want to do like an armor set in sleek so so i have a ton of different armor that i want to upgrade it's going to take absolutely ages you may have noticed my chest 
can be named now. That came out with the update as well. So that's a pretty cool feature. Although, there's no way to toggle them on and off. So they are there. But they kind of fade away as you walk away. It's not the most annoying thing ever. But it's also not very pretty to look at. But no arguing that it makes it super easy to find your stuff. So it's a good update. Now the update came out a couple of weeks ago. But it took me absolutely ages to make this video. Because you have to start over from the beginning of the game after the new update. You get to keep your house and your weapons and your armors and any milk molars that you've assigned all stays. However, you have to go back to every point of interest and do it all over. The mystery machine at the very beginning of the game, I had to redo that, turn it on. I had to go back to the uh, hedge lab and turn that on so I could use the scanners. Had to do the haze lab all over again. Also had to plug up the haze canister all over again. Had to do the black ant hill. Had to do the red ant hill. Had to do the picnic table. Had to do the sandbox. The reason they make you do it all over again is because they've added some new story for Burgle and how you're going to be re-enlarged basically. Burgle's got a recipe, except he can't remember the recipe. And in order for him to remember the recipe, you've got to go find something called super chips, super Burgle chips. Right, and they're located in all the labs that you've already done in the past. So you've got to go redo the labs, get the super burgle chips, return them to burgle, and he gives you a little bit of the recipe at a time. So I've done all the labs again, and I've done all the points of interest, except for uh, down below in the pond. So I think we'll do that today. Basically, we're going to have to redo it all over again. We'll get the burgle chip, and we should get the last piece for the recipe to re-enlarge ourselves. However, it's not gonna let us re-enlarge ourselves, no way, because then the game would be over and they're not finished making the game yet. So I'm interested to see what's gonna happen. There's a lot of other cool stuff that came out with the update as well, and we'll be checking that out on another video um, because it's some more really cool defense stuff. And there's gonna be a video that we do that we're gonna try to agitate a certain, um, a certain type of insect to see if they'll come attack our base. But today, I wanna get this last super chip. I've got my uh, Fippy flops on and I've got my bubble helmet on. And I got my spider fang dagger so we can attack stuff underwater. So let's go do it. Oh, yeah. There's another cool thing I want to show you guys. This is actually great. Check out that tadpole. What if we were to scan it with our binoculars and then click it? Who's hitting me? Why are they hitting me? Don't do that. It was you. Now you're going to die, water flea. You're going to die. You're dead. Anyways, I just scanned. I just scanned that dude. And if I open up my inventory and go to data, it will now show... The tadpole somewhere. Here he is. And then it'll show you its weaknesses and resistance. It has no weaknesses or resistance. It's a harmless creature, right? Look at these little guys down here. These are all harmless. They won't hurt you no matter what you do. We've got neutral that won't attack you basically unless you attack them kind of a thing. And then we've just got the angry bugs here. I've scanned a lot, but I wanted to show you that you can scan some stuff. And there'll be plenty down here to scan that I haven't scanned already. So there should be those water bell spiders. I haven't tried scanning the crow yet. Or the big koi fish. We'll try to get the koi fish while we're down here. Anything else that I haven't scanned, like this bell spider. I don't think I've scanned him yet. Nope. Got him. Diving bell spider. So now we know its weaknesses and resistances. So some cool stuff with the update. It's now occurring to me that I totally forgot to bring a lantern, but I don't think we're going to need one. I can see. You can see. We can all see. It's fine. Whee! I wonder if I'm going to have to do all the switches again. I think so, yeah. I don't guess this is going to be open at the top. But it's fine. We shouldn't drown like we did the first time we came here because I've got my bubble helmet. Yeah, we're going to have to redo all the power and everything. So we're basically redoing this. And that's another reason I didn't want to make any videos until I kind of got uh, to a good spot because you've already seen all of this. And I'm sorry that you're going to have to rewatch the underwater lab again today, but it's what we're doing. I think we need to go up here, actually, this way, maybe. And then this should take us into the base. I can flip a power switch, then come out here and flip all three of these power switches. Then we'll have full access to the underwater lab where we should find the super chip. Oh yeah, we gotta put our hand on a biometric scanner now to get in all of the labs. So this is something they've added too. They had one inside, I think it was the Haze lab, but nowhere else. Now all the labs have this, which is kinda cool. We're here. Let's throw this switch. We're gonna, we're gonna speed run this. All right, yeah, so it says A, B, and C need power. We gotta go back outside for that. All right, let's see if I can remember where all three of these are at. Well, here's one right here. So that found it. Piece of cake. I'll just come up and give it a little turn. Power on. Okay, that's one. And then I think the other one's over here. Basically, just follow the power cables. You should find all three of them pretty easy. Ah! Spiders! 
spiders. Oh god. Got it. Stop it, spiders. Not today, please. Got the mood. <laughs> I hate spiders. All right. And there's the other one, but it's behind glass, so you got to get sneaky with this one. You got to come in here up top somewhere and then swim around and all kind of stuff. So let's go in this tube and try to swim to it. Here we go. I'm guessing a lantern would have been helpful because it is a little dark in here. We got to wait for this fan to turn off so we can keep swimming through. I've still got 88 seconds of oxygen. Bubble helmet is OP. We didn't make it? Come on, man. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Get around the corner. There we go. And then we just come around here. We'll take a right here. And we should have that other switch straight in front of us. Hey. And that's all three. And now we have access to the full lab. We can find that chip. Let's go find it. All right, we're back in the lab. I don't remember what to do. I don't know what to do. We'll just go where it says green. And we can go in the green rooms. Yeah, that's right. We'll go this way. See? All right, now I just have to remember where everything is in this lab. Yeah, see, they even, like, make you pick back up all the lore and everything so it's like a complete reset to everything you've already done it was quite a shock we've got to get to that terminal somehow and i'll figure it out if it's the last thing i do oh my god it's pitch black dark in here okay abort we are gonna need a lantern and i know where to find one at so hold on i remember there's a shelf with all kind of stuff on it where we first came in the lab at so right right here yeah i think there's a couple of lanterns or at least one lantern yeah there's one lantern right there give it to me thank you all right, we should be fine now. Uh oh, excuse me. Don't do that. An arc R, I believe these guys are called. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed. Thanks. Oh, I picked up a gold card. So you'll notice some of these are gold, right? So after you scan and get the information on a particular insect, or in that case, a robot, you know, all the info shows up here in your data tab. And then in the future, as you kill these creatures you've already scanned, there's a chance they'll drop a gold card for you. And you can see I collected three gold cards so far. Um, the developers say if you get 100% gold cards, that there will be a reward for the players. They haven't decided what the reward's going to be or when they're going to implement that, but that is why there are gold versions of these cards. And as you can see, it's like a Pokemon shiny. It's got a cool background and everything, so... They look a little different. It's pretty neat. So there we go. We got three gold cards. All robots, though. I wonder. What a, that's a weird coincidence, probably. Maybe. Yeah, so now I can come here and do something. No? Now, just a friendly reminder, if you're excited about Grounded coming back, some more Grounded videos, drop a like on the uh, video you're watching right now. It's going to help me out. It's going to make my videos more discoverable for other people that haven't checked out the Grounded series. And if you love it, maybe someone else will love it. What is all this noise? Stop it, door. All right, where was I at? That we needed the lantern. I'm trying to find. I'm lost. I, actually, I've, I'm found. I know where I'm at. Okay, this is where we're at, and it was too dark to go any further. But now, let there be light. Let's go. All right. I'm down here into the hole. Down into the hole we go. And then you know, get stuck on everything. Get stuck on everything, and then up. Aha. And then through here. Yes, of course. Naturally. And then watch out for the diving bell spider. There he is. I remembered him from the last time I came through here. And we're safe. We're good. Lantern off. We don't need it anymore. All right. And here we're at the terminal. Boop. Pond hatch. Biodome access ramp. Biodome auto mode. Reboot biodome terminal. All right. Let's go find the biodome. And we get some granola bars and some lore. Where, oh, where was that biodome even at? Wait, I'm on the other side again. That's not good. Wait, wait. Time out. Oh, no. I see what we did. Okay, yeah. We opened up a few doors that I didn't have access to before. So now, I believe, if I go back in this room with the annoying door that keeps opening and closing. Don't do it. Thank you. Yeah, I've opened a bunch of doors. We got some tasties around here. Yeah. You don't want to do it. You don't want to mess with me. It's destroyed. Bam! Pow! Slap! One more, one more. Did you see what happened to your friends? They were still coming at me? So we should get 400 raw science. I like that, yeah. These doors were not open before, and now they are. Yeah, I think this is the way. As you can see, Dr. Wendell has been here. So 
so we will keep going this way. Hey, some bandages. You can always use more of those. And another granola bar, which heals you and helps your hunger. I love those things. Hey, I see you. I see you. <laughs> I also think that they made um, the stamina less when you're swinging so you can complete more three hit combos which is you know how the combat works in this game each hit does more damage right so you have to do combos to get the maximum damage out of your swings um, so I think they made it less stamina drain as you're swinging so you can definitely do more with these heavier weapons which is great Oh, while we're here, uh, are there any muscle sprouts? I think I might have collected them all. Get some more muscle sprouts while we're here, but apparently we cannot. They're all gone. Gotta wait for those to grow back, I guess. But here it is. The super burgle chip. Found it. And then we can reboot. Biodome. Excellent. But now we got to go talk to Burgle and see if giving him this super chip will jog his memory about the recipe that's going to re-enlarge us. So let's go find Mr. Burgle, shall we? I think I see a water boatman up here, and I don't believe I have scanned one of these guys yet. And I'd like to find a giant koi fish while we're here. Yeah, scan him. I think those guys are, um, they can't hurt you at all. Oh, there's the koi fish. So you can't scan the big guy, huh? Uh oh, just stay down there. Maybe I need to get closer to scan him. Let's find out. This is a death wish, possibly. Hey, I see you. I'm surprised he's not attacking me. Every chance he gets to eat me, he has successfully done so. So I'm not going to mess with him anymore. You can't scan him, which is sad because I thought for sure that he'd be one you can scan. Because there is still one more harmless creature that I can't find. Well, he's not harmless, so that maybe it's the crow. Because the crow can't attack you. I've never been attacked by the crow. Maybe it's the crow. Let me see if we can find the crow and scan him. But there's still one, if you, if you guys know, leave it down in the comment section. Which one am I missing? I've got the aphid, I've got the weevil, I've got the grub, the gnat, tadpole, water boatman, and scarab. I can't even think of what this could possibly be that I'm missing. Maybe the crow. I hear the crow. It's a little too dark out to find where the crow is. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are you serious? He bit me! Holy mackerel! I was just coming out of the water. <laughs> There's a wolf spider just waiting for me. I'm poisoned. So, by the way, you know how I used to cheese all of these, um... Basically anything, anything and everything, just by getting on top of something like this. The wolf spider, any insect now can jump to you. So if you're up on top of a rock, or in my case, over here on this leaf, if that wolf spider saw me again, he would jump over here and attack me. If I was on top of a rock, he could jump up on the rock now. Why are all the wolf spiders out? Get out of here. I need to make it to the tree so I can go give this ship to burgle but i'm i'm being blocked right now by spiders but i'm no weakling let's do it come on little spider you ain't gonna do nothing to nobody ever i might die though from poison i might die from poison but he's dead too that's a win in my book i think i can outlive the poison i put a bandage on i should be all right i've also got granola i could probably eat a granola and outlive this yeah, that granola just did a good chunk of health. Yeah, we're fine. We're gonna be just fine. Oh, we're not fine! We're not fine! I was in my inventory screen. Come on, man. He jumped up on the, the root. That's pretty cool. Okay, you know what? You know what, Mr. Wolf's Got him. Got him, but we are poisoned again. You know, this is weird. I thought I put on my status for not getting poisoned. I really did. Let me check that. Yeah, I've got it on. Why is it not working? Your body has been ravaged by the thrilling surge of poison coursing through so many times that it has built up a permanent resistance. I have it on. What's going on here? Yeah, so that's strange, but whatever. We're alive. Note to self, I'm not immune to poison anymore, so let's not just go jumping into a bunch of fights with spiders. Now, some of you might not notice this, but this is the first thing I noticed when I came into this lab for the first time. Uh, they changed this pathway. It used to be a smooth ramp just going down. And it's all broken into pieces now. A little more destruction. 
So little changes like that have been made in various locations throughout the map. They also changed the layout of the lab. There used to be like a puzzle in here you'd have to do to flip a switch to open this door. And then you'd come in here and this wasn't here before either. This shows all of the labs. Um, that is the black ant lab. That is the head lab. What is happening? Something above me blowing up. It must be that infected wolf spider. And there's the underwater lab and so on and so forth. So that's pretty cool. The man burgle. Guess what I found? I found a super chip. All right, so he puts it in. He's processing. We don't have any dialogue for Burgle right now with this. What's wrong, Burgle? The last ingredient of the cocktail is marked as missing. I am not sure what to tell you. Dr. Wendell Tully purposefully wiped the last ingredient from my memory. My programming permits me from remembering the secret ingredient. Wendell never wanted it to fall into the wrong hands. He did not even trust it with me. The entire recipe is only in Wendell's noggin. And as I said, he has not been around for months. Let me think on this one. It might take some time to process what the next step is. This might be the end of your story for now. That's kind of what I figured would happen because there's no way they're gonna let us know the recipe if the game's not finished yet. So yeah, we don't get the recipe quite yet. So check out this new uh, terminal over here. This can be found in every single one of those small research stations all across the backyard. And this is a way that you can talk to Burgle and do the things that you used to only be able to do by coming to see Burgle. So you can do your science shop here. This is where you buy all your recipes and stuff like that. And then here's where you can do all your milk molar stuff. And this is where you can get your Burgle quest if you wanna make some more raw science. Like I said, you can do that at all the research stations located throughout the backyard. So you don't have to come to the giant oak tree anymore and accept to give Burgle Burgle chips. So that's a huge quality of life improvement and very cool, oh my God. God, is the infected wolf spider were running past him. He's stuck. He might not be stuck. I think he just got unstuck real quick. You stuck? Yeah, you're stuck. That's what I thought. All right, let's just leave him alone, all right? I've had enough of wolf spiders and infected wolf spiders for one day. By the way, here's the recipe for the embiggening cocktail. This is what we are unlocking by giving Burgle the super chips. So we already know a good bit of it, but as you can see here, there's still two ingredients we don't know at all. But gum nuggets, koi fish scales, and berry leather. So super easy ingredients. Once we learn the whole recipe, I guess we'll be able to re-enlarge ourselves. But I guess this also means we're gonna have to find Dr. Wendell Tully at some point because Burgle says he's the only one that knows this. It's in his noggin. So I guess we'll meet the infamous Dr. Wendell Tully at some point as they continue to develop the game. There are a couple of really cool things found in the backyard now called mix R's or mixers. And they're these giant machines that you can activate. And once you activate them, you have to defend them for a certain amount of time from a horde of bugs that are gonna come and attack the machine. If you can successfully outlast the horde attacking the machine and keep it from being damaged, you're going to get rewarded with a ton of raw science. Now, I have found two of the locations of these mixers. I believe there are three on the map currently. I don't know where the third one is, but on the next episode, I think we're going to go check out the mixers. We're going to build around it a bunch of defenses, and we're going to activate a horde to come attack it and see if we can actually successfully complete one of those. So stay tuned for another video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And as always, it's been your boy Lagan24, and I will see you out. A next time.